Some of you who wants to be a developer might think that what exactly do the software or java developer do? I figured that's probably something you all want to know. As a java developer, I am going to talk in detail about what do I do at work. Okay, let's begin. You all have heard about the IT companies like TCS, Infosys, Wipro. Let me tell you that there are two types of companies, product based companies and service based companies. Product based companies are those that creates its own products for example Google, Microsoft, Amazon etc. And service based companies are those that works on these products and provide service to the client. For example TCS, Wipro, Infosys etc. So these service based companies use the products made by the product based companies. Main difference between these two is in service based companies client is priority. They are driven by customer needs. They offer services and solutions as per customer requirements. Whereas in product based companies, quality is priority. They are driven by their top idea to help different customers. But getting into product based company is damn hard. They hire candidates through top IITs. I work at service based company as a Java developer. We work to provide services for our clients, mostly like ICICI, Access Bank, etc. We also make improvements and provide support to the website so that they are always up and running all the time. So in order to talk little bit about my responsibilities as a Java developer, let's drive in and talk about the whole process. We have a project manager who will be tracking our progress and he is the one who decides on what we are building. First step in building any website or software is gathering requirements. We have to speak with clients or managers who have a vision of what needs to be completed. There is a discussion on which task should be completed first and what is the best course of action and so on. Second step is development. Given the requirements, we start writing our code. And this is where your education or computer science or coding knowledge comes into play. After development, third step is testing. Once your development is complete, you need to test to see if it works as per the need of your client. And let me tell you, there are always bugs that the developer doesn't catch the first time around. So this whole portion of reading, writing and fixing code takes quite a bit of time. Large portion of my day is spent doing this. Anyways, once testing is over, we would go for deploying code in the client's environment. And then one round of testing is to be done by the UAT team or testing team in their environment. And after successful attempt, we make the application live. And if required, we give them a technical support. I hope that this gives a little more clarity into what developer do at work. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos and leave me comment down below if you have any suggestions.